vertigo that occurs only and repeatedly with position changes of the head supports a diagnosis of benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV. Individuals diagnosed with this problem may often benefit from canalith repositioning, commonly referred to as the Epley maneuver. This maneuver is quick to learn, easy to perform, and requires only a flat elevated surface, such as an exam table or bed. Sufficient room for slight hyperextension of the patient's head over the edge of the bed is required. The theory behind the Epley maneuver is that through sequential head movements, otoconia are transferred from the troublesome posterior semicircular canal to the vestibule of the labyrinth in the inner ear, where otoconia do not induce current during angular acceleration. The Epley maneuver is indicated for individuals with a history and exam consistent with BPPV. If the patient's vertigo or nystagmus is persistent at rest or occurs in the context of a loss of consciousness, a focal neurologic deficit, headache, hearing loss, tinnitus, hypotension or hypertension, consider an etiology other than BPPV. The contraindications are identical to those of the dix hall pike maneuver. These include carotid stenosis, vertebra basilar vascular disease, cervical spine disease, spinal injury, cardiovascular disease, and cardiac dysrhythmia. The elderly and those with severe symptoms may not tolerate the maneuver, and pretreatment with an antihistamine or antiemetic may be helpful. Similar to the dix hall pike maneuver, the patient begins in the seated position. The examiner then turns the patient's head 45 degrees to the affected side. The patient is then moved to the supine position with the affected ear down and the head extended slightly below the horizontal. After 20 seconds, or after symptoms subside, the patient's head is then rotated in the head hanging position to face the opposite shoulder. The patient is next rolled onto the unaffected side while the head is further rotated into the down facing position. After any additional symptoms subside, or approximately 20 seconds, the patient is returned to the seated position. It is recommended that patients remain in a relatively upright position for 24 hours after performance of the maneuver. As with the dix hall pike maneuver, the patient must be able to ambulate safely prior to discharge. Referral to ENT for follow-up is appropriate if the symptoms persist after discharge. Untreated BPPV is self-limited, lasting days to weeks. The Epley maneuver can provide prompt resolution of symptoms and has not been shown to cause any adverse effects.